create a quiz today. So first of all, you'll need to go into Quiz Shed, which you can do at the top of the page here. This will then take you to this page. So if we click on Browse Quizzes, these are ones you can see some teachers have made. So they're all, they've all got a unique code as well. So if you want to, if you've made one and someone else wants to use it, they can access it. Um, children's ones, you can choose whether you want to have them private, which most, most do have them private so that they're not publicly searched. Um, now you can create quizzes, which is a new thing that I've recently learned how to do. And I'm, I'm gonna show you quite sim in a simple way. You can, you can use this um, to create quite complicated quizzes if you wanted to, but I'll just quickly show you um, some ways to make some simple quizzes. And so you know as well how to do it. So first of all, you click on create new quiz. Um, there is a disclaimer here. So just to not upload any personal information or anything inappropriate, and you can create a, a title. So maybe it is adjectives. You can then add a image if you want to, a, a description. Okay, and then this is my edit screen. So you can see here, there's my um, code. It's unpublished, so it's not in the public domain or anything yet. Right, and I can add questions. So down the side here are different ways, and I'll go through them, different types of questions. So single choice, you can also have an uh, image and make it snazzy. Single choice will just be, um, they've just got one answer that is right out of a few. So I could just say something like, click on the adjective. Down here, add answer. So this is gonna be the correct, correct one. So maybe you want smooth. I'm gonna add some other things that aren't going to be right, like bicycle and run. Okay, so you can see, make sure that one is correct and save. So that is a single choice. It's got one correct answer out of a few. You can then, if you wanted to, do loads of these that are really similar. You could just du duplicate them. And maybe you just want to have click on the adjective and just have lots and lots of those and have different answers. So you can do that really easily. I'm going to just show you how to use other ones. The other one, multi-choice, is exactly the same. You just choose, it's, it's more than one. So it's multiple choice. So you maybe there's two that are correct. Um, you just need to make sure those answers are selected as correct. Text means that there's an answer, but it must be a certain word. So maybe you want to have copy and type the adjective in this sentence. The Balloon. Okay. So the only they've only got one word that can be correct that they've got to type in here. So what was that shiny? There we go. So there's only one correct answer that can be typed. Then you click save. Now the other one, the next one, so we've gone through those. Free text is it doesn't have to be a specific text that has to be exactly the same as mine. That you'll have to review. So maybe it's an answer to a comprehension question. It's a little bit trickier than it just being correct or incorrect. Sort is good for um, maybe a maths one or maybe something to do with a timeline. I know mine was on adjectives, but just so that you can see how it works. If I just say, sort the numbers. Um, Smallest to largest. Uh, smallest. OK, 
Okay, so then you can just add your answers here. So let's have 300, three, and 30. Now I need to make sure I get these correct. So you can do them by moving them up. So it's gonna be three. So I know that those are the correct way. So this is just a way of them sorting things. Again, you can add a, a nice picture in there if you want. There's also the time limit, which I also didn't mention before. Um, difficulty here, you can choose that. That is to do with the scores. The higher the difficulty increases the scores. So if, if you want to do sort of like a challenge question or it's completely up to you, that one is just, is um, yeah, completely. And then the next one, match looks like this. So maybe you want to say match the colors to the objects. Add an answer and there'll be always one, the correct. So maybe you want to have, make sure you do the correct answers. And then they will have to move them. Okay, and then click save. And you can see that's theirs and they would have had to have matched those. What's the other question type? Number input. So that's quite self-explanatory. That's just, they need to input the correct number. So maybe what to do. We've only got one number that is correct that they can add. I am quite aware that we started doing adjectives, but I just wanted to make sure that I could show you all the different question types. So you can then play the quiz. So you can just sort of check it, check it works. You can also generate the quiz into a worksheet. Um, you select the number of questions that you wanted out of how many you have. Shuffle the questions if you want. And that will then generate a worksheet into a PDF. You can also assign a quiz. So then you can then do that as an assignment. So you can assign your quiz as an, an assignment. Uh, you can also favorite it, add to favorites. So there we go. That's quite